when I went through the menopausal transition, I remember trying all the bioidentical stuff because you know, I wasn't afraid of it. So I would do the creams and I'd have it made up at the formulary pharmacy. And I noticed that nothing did anything mm. um, because my lifestyle was the biggest determinant of whether or not I had hot flashes or anything of that nature. So mm. let's just take a look at, at that. So some women find that when they eat a diet high in sugar or they drink a lot of red wine or they eat certain cheeses, they get hot flashes or if they're under some kind of stress. So what is stress? A plane trip between here and LA is stressful. Um, Thanksgiving dinner with relatives you don't like is stressful. Um, eating a lot of sugar, eating a lot of donuts, eating a lot of wheat for some people who are sensitive to gluten, which is a lot of people, uh, that's all stressful. And all of those things change the way your hormones are metabolized. I think that is my, my main take home message is that cortisol and epinephrine, the stress hormones created by the adrenals, um, actually change the way hormones are metabolized in the female human body. So mm -hmm. there's a great connection between the adrenal glands where the stress hormones are made cortisol from the, corte from the medulla of the adrenal and epinephrine from the um, cortex of the, um, of the adrenals. The adrenals are two little glands that sit on top of the kidneys. And they interact with the ovaries in this lovely, lovely dance. So when your adrenals are healthy, and probably many of your listeners have, have heard of chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, adrenal fatigue, that's what's really going on in menopause. That's what's, because let me just slide in a little metaphysics here. At, at age 42, we all go through what's called a Uranus opposition, men as well as women. And that is a wake up call from your soul. And we call it a midlife crisis, but it really isn't. It's the soul saying, hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, you went to school you got your degree, you did what you're supposed to do, you're working in a job that you're supposed to work in, and then you hit about age 42, and uh, the timeline of your soul wakes up and says, really, really? Is this what you wanna be doing the rest of your life? Because I noticed that you too were working, uh, doing other people's work, and you said, wait, I have a vision that's a little different, so I wanna do this on my own. Mm -hmm. That's what the whole midlife crisis is about. And if you ignore it, then the stress hormones increase because your body is a barometer of your soul's trajectory. So if you expect that anything outside of yourself, whether it be bioidentical hormones or herbs or whatever, is going to do it, it won't do it until you get yourself back on the right track. Then these other things enhance your life. Now, is there, there's no question that estrogen is the gold standard in women who have hot flashes and they can't sleep and they can't sleep and therefore they get depressed. But in many, many cases, their life is requiring a reset button. And getting, you know, Elizabeth Kubler-Ross way, way back, who was a pioneer on death and dying, she would say, you know what, when you're in pain, morphine works well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just need to get the thing to get you through, and I'm fine with that. But let's not lose sight of the fact that at midlife, the whole reason, by the way, that chronic degenerative diseases increase at the age of 50, you know, when they tell you, get your first mammogram, get your colonoscopy. The only reason for that is you've generally been ignoring your body for that many years. And finally, it says, keep it up, and I'm going to show you what I can do to get you back on track. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why suddenly at age 45, 50, whatever, the incidence of breast cancer and colon cancer and uh, heart disease should go up. That's just demographics. That's just how someone's been living. I'm always interested in the outlier people. So um, do, do all women need bioidentical hormones? Absolutely not. Because when the adrenals are healthy, when you have looked at your soul trajectory, when you are leading a life that is driven by and guided by your soul, then you just, you, you don't need nearly as many things from the outside 